Hey Cancer, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your January 2020 mid-month tarot check for all Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in Cancer. So be sure if you're if this doesn't resonate for you and your Sun is Cancer, be sure to check your Moon, Rising, Venus. Those may resonate for you. Um, I'm so appreciative of all the people who have been subscribing, commenting, liking, sharing my videos. It's really fun for me to get new subs. It's it just makes the channel grow and helps me to know I'm reaching more and more people. And um, I'm just here to uplift and bring a message to you today. So let's do that, okay? So I hope that you're off to a great start in 2020. Continue to take care of yourself and nurture yourself. Find things, surround yourself with positive messages. I watched a documentary yesterday after work that Hay House sent to me and it was just very relaxing, very laid back and um, it was a lot of master teachers in the Law of Attraction so it's a brand new documentary and it had other people like um, Greg Braden and Joe Dispenza but then it had quite a few people who were in The Secret. Uh, Jack Canfield was in it, Lisa Nichols and it was just a great message so Know that you can bounce back from anything. You can have, do, or be anything. And you have to just know that you're worth it. You know, know that you've got the self-worth and the universe loves you and wants to bring in good things to you. So let's find out what is going on for the January mid-month tarot check for cancer here. All right, for cancer. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And then we're going to give a, an ask and it is given card to kick this off. There is evolutionary value in my personal preferences. Do not underestimate the value of your preferences, for the evolution of your planet depends upon those of you on the leading edge of thought, continuing to fine-tune your desires. And the contrast or variety provides the perfect environment for the formation of your personal preferences. Yeah, so we have to expand in order for the, the planet to expand and to grow. Um, so if, if we didn't have people out there that were interested in technology and other things, you know, we wouldn't be having YouTube, right? So, oh boy, this is nice. The, the, the heart of things here, your current energy and position, Ace of Wands with the Eight of Wands. Um, underlying here sort of the destiny of things has been the ten of swords the distant past was a page of wands the more recent past was the nine of swords very interesting upcoming future the knight of cups and then you got the eight of swords as you around you is the five of cups then you've got as your sort of inner hopes the high priestess might be trying to manifest some love and then you've got the Four of Pentacles. Now, the bottom of the deck I like to use as a clarifier, and it's the sun. So, um, could be Leo you're dealing with. Could be a uh, fire sign for sure. Could be an air sign or possibly a water sign. Um, so, the, the heart of this thing here, you've got your present position and your immediate influence. So... This is all about new energy. This Ace of Wands is about possibly an apology. There's communication for sure. So let's get with that. If you've had cancer, if you've had a falling out with somebody, they want to make amends with you. They definitely do. They want to come forward. The Ace of Wands, some people read it as kind of a sexual energy, but it's also an olive branch. And it's about you know reconciling it's a manifestation card so if you've been separated from somebody and you've tried to communicate with them and they were not willing to i definitely feel like there's been distance between you um no communication here whatsoever they want to come forward and communicate but i feel like for some of you they weren't interested in it before and it's like now they're kind of going well maybe maybe we do need to talk about this and see what else we should be doing or what else might be left um you were devastated by somebody definitely stabbed you in the back it's a 10 so it was the end of a cycle so that's the good news that this person can't hurt you again or this situation so if it was something possibly job related um 
you know, if you were fired or something, you're stable now. But again, if it was a love kind of a relationship, um, it might have been with somebody who was a lot of fun and you really felt like that was your soulmate. Um, you really felt like they were lighthearted, they were encouraging you, they seemed like they could have been your forever person. Um, and in the past, you had good relations with this person. It might have been something where the person just really kind of screwed up. That's what I'm getting. But you definitely had something that seemed... Um, it seemed like it could it could turn into more but it wasn't um, it just didn't quite get off the ground or get solidified enough and in the more recent past you've had some you've had some of this kind of living something living rent free in your head where you've been up and just kind of kicking it around and having a hard time sleeping for some of you in the last couple weeks if that's you um, you may have been worried about something whether it be this situation may be a love situation or possibly money too for some of you, but you got an offer. So, um, coming in and it's a big offer. It's, um, this is a turning point. You've got a turning point coming forward. I'm going to say February for that. Jan the end of January, February, um, where a manifestation is going to come through for you. Um, so be deliberate in your crea creations, manage your thoughts, your feelings, and be very deliberate. Okay call to you the things that you want you know get develop some kind of a personal mantra like i attract abundance i've always attracted abundance things are always working out for me they always have and they continue to work out for me things like that you know you need to develop a, some self-talk and mean it and look around you and say you know what you're right i have always had things work out for me i have a lot of stuff around me that's really good and every area of my life is coming into alignment. Now, this is you, and you have been holding yourself hostage. So if you felt a little bit stagnant or stuck, that's your own energy. It's not anybody else doing it to you. People don't do things to you. They just do what they do, okay? So know that from some of the lowest points are born, and I've seen this dozens of times, and I've had it happen in my own life. Some of the lowest points are born some of our biggest successes. So when we think that something's devastating, out of that can be born a higher level of creativity, a new way of thinking that causes us to create something really magnificent. I know for me, I ended up writing a book after something really, what I thought was a really negative situation and it got me to sit down and write a book that I had been working on I had been working on a book for a long time and I actually kind of scrapped that idea and said you know I'm just going to write something new and it came to me it was spirit I meditated I calmed my mind down and it took me about two weeks to write 75,000 words I mean that's if you've ever tried to write a book that's a lot of words in two weeks um, and then I found just the right editor I mean everything can come to you but no, just know it know it that you're supposed to have these things now I do think whoever you've been dealing with um, again we've got a five um, and they see you moving forward they're gonna see you step out of that eight of swords kind of energy and move forward and they're kind of you know they're kind of crying and feeling sorry for themselves but you know what they did this whoever this was they did some things that they shouldn't have done and it's like well you know you you get what you do in life you know um so it's like they're gonna have i think some self-pity feeling sorry for themselves and don't let that influence you because you're moving forward cancer and you've got a nice new energy coming up here um you know at the heart of things this is of course the card of the psychic um the high priestess um but this is also too it can be about you know, um, it can be about, you know, kind of stability and evolving a relationship and learning to trust yourself or learning to trust again. If you had something where the person wasn't very trustworthy, this is also earth sign. So you do have a little bit of earth in this reading. Um, you know, it's all about things being brought to light. So if there's been some kind of secrets around you, you're going to get the truth, the clarity, the truth of the matter is coming out. You do have, again, at the, the final outcome position, a little bit of a stagnant energy, but then you've got the sun. 
So it may be that you need a, just kind of a brief time of refocusing, getting clear about your intentions, and the sun will be behind that, okay? And the sun is a beautiful card to have in any reading. I don't know who wouldn't want to see that. I mean, it's all about newness, achievement, success, um, attaining goals. The sun is about attainment. So I think you're a little bit guarded, but know that you are going to be moved forward in the end. And we're are going to have a, a period of expand, expansion and new growth. So if it's a relationship, it'll be more likely this person will apologize. It may be a brand new beginning with somebody that's from the past. That's very possible. Um, and I actually feel like that, Cancer, you may have a brand new beginning with somebody because you're guarded here. And, you know, um, I, I think there's good reason for it. But I do feel like you're going to be able to drop that and um, just radiate happiness and positivity. So... Very nice ending to that for you all, and thank you again for tuning in. I'll be back again here in probably about a week, so let's continue to continue. I hope you have a great week ahead. I love you, and I'll see you again soon.